win the game 12-4 tonight. How does it feel to get up on the right foot here this weekend in Round Rock? Uh, it was very important. I mean, I was just very proud of the aggression that we played with tonight. And up and down the lineup, guys willing to do what it takes to set up innings. And we certainly got some big two-out hits. And I want to say eight or nine two-out runs tonight. And, and our pitching staff was outstanding. All three guys we ran out tonight were on attack and minimized damage from Baylor and, and kept the momentum in our dugout for the entire nine innings. Rob, what did you kind of see differently from the, the team tonight, just uh, energy-wise and approach-wise uh, at the plate than you did maybe opening weekend and in the, the midweek games? Well, one through nine, each guy was trying to do a little too much, and you could see the, the pressure start to build, and guys willing to do what it takes to set up innings, whether it's anchoring down with a hit-by-pitch, a walk, or just moving the baseball with two strikes. You could see the commitment from our guys from the fifth inning on against Tarleton State and then again tonight. Uh, but did, you know, D Dustin's a guy that uh, I feel like, especially in the last year, we've kind of expected to take a big step forward. I, I thought his stuff tonight, especially the slider, was pretty good. What did you think of his performance? Well, the thing that I've seen from Dustin the entire year is just his maturity and his daily routine is very consistent. And, and usually that coincides with him being successful on the mound. Dustin has been as consistent as anybody for us since the fall. And, and I just think it comes down to his maturity and growth as a young man. Scoring all those runs with two outs tonight, Coach. Uh, I have it. It's uh, nine two run outs tonight. What does that do for an offense and uh, the confidence in that clubhouse? Well, it's an incredible momentum gatherer. I mean, we certainly had a lot of opportunities. I think in the second and third inning to really throw up a knockout blow. We had bases loaded, one out. We had runners in second, third, one out. We went out looking. Uh, but to continue to gather momentum with those two out hits is, is just a, a very important thing, especially after not cashing in, whether it was the second or third or third or fourth inning. Uh, it was just huge. Rob, I, I know baseball is a long season, but just, you know, as SEC play leans ahead in a few weeks, did you and after last week, did you feel like from the veterans, like Frazil and guys like that, did you feel like there's a little bit little bit of urgency coming into this weekend from those, from those uh, upperclassmen? Well, I think that was our problem at the get-go. I mean, each and every guy had their care factor is so high, it's probably to a fault. And their care, care is for the team and wanting the team to do well. And sometimes trying too hard can be a negative. And that's what I felt like was going on during the first five games of the season. And, and their heart's in the right place. But sometimes that doesn't work in this sport. Thanks, Rob. All righty. Uh, oh. Do you have anything else? Oh, uh, just uh, oh, Will Frizzell hit his third home run in uh, two games. What have you liked it from his approach the last couple of days? Well, uh, so like I said the other night, not only does he have incredible power, but he's a hitter first. He commands a strike zone, and when you make a mistake, he's going to find the barrel, and, and that's the thing that makes him a, a hard kid to deal with. Right, left, it doesn't matter because he commands a strike zone. So many times power guys may swing out of the zone, Will normally doesn't do that, and that makes him an extra big threat. <coughs> Thank you, Coach. Yep. All right.